The junior senator from Virginia Beach, Senator McWaters. Mr. Chairman, I was not going to stand up and talk about this bill, but I'm really surprised at the amount of time we've spent in the Virginia Senate on this issue at this time. We are in an economy where people don't have $18,000 a year jobs, and people that have $18,000 a year jobs are losing their jobs. We have good health care benefits here. We get per diems. We get money for our offices. Now, I recognize and I agree with many of my good friends who are more senior to me and have been in this body much longer than I have that there are some people that that's, this is a tremendous hardship financially for them and for their families, and I applaud them. I have been blessed. I've been blessed in business. It's not the same hardship for me that it is for many. But at this time, for us to be considering this kind of a measure, uh, and I'm not trying to grab a headline here. I'm not trying to embarrass anyone. I really want us to think about what we're doing here and what is the message we're sending out to our fellow Virginians. Teachers we talk about who have not gotten raises. State policemen who have not gotten raises. Capitol Police who have not gotten raises. On and on and on. For us to even be taking the time of our citizenry when we haven't passed a budget, should we not perhaps consider spending this energy, this time, and this consideration on passing a budget? Mr. President, I think if we don't pass a budget, we should pass a bill that says all of us get our salaries cut, perhaps to zero. Our job is to be here looking after the citizens of Virginia. Now, I recognize there may become a time and a place where this has to be considered. I'd like to say that again. I recognize there's a time and a place where this may have to be considered. Mr. President, it is not today. It is not this week. We must pass a budget. Thank you. Thanks, Senator.